Microsoft Germany's CTO, Andreas Bern, has just announced that GPT-4 is set to be released soon and it will be a game changer. He also said that it would be multimodal. It means it would handle various input types like videos, images, and sound, taking AI to a new level. Moreover, unlike its predecessors, GPT-3 and GPT-3.5, which could only deal with text inputs, GPT-4 can operate in at least four modalities. Here it says, according to the German news report, GPT-4 may be able to operate in at least four modalities, images, sound, text, and video. According to Andreas Braun, this new model will unlock a universe of possibilities for AI applications. We're still in the dark about some specifics of GPT-4, but the excitement is palpable nonetheless. While the reporting needed more clarity on whether the modal modality mentioned earlier was exclusive to GPT-4, Microsoft Director of Business Strategy, Holger Kinn, shed some light on the matter. Although it's believed that his references to multimodality were indeed specific to GPT-4, Kinn explained that multimodal AI isn't limited to just translating the text into images, but can go as far as translating it into music and videos. Can you guys even imagine the possibilities? But that's not even all. Microsoft is working on a revolutionary concept called confidence metrics to ensure that their AI models are grounded in factual data, making them more reliable than ever before. As a result, the future of AI is shaping up to be super exciting. While it might have flown under the radar in the US, Microsoft released a revolutionary multimodal language model called Cosmos One at the beginning of March 2023. According to this German news site, the Cosmos One team tested the model and the results are nothing short of mind-blowing. The model aced tasks such as image classification, answering questions about image content, automated image labeling, optical text recognition, and even speech generation functions. The model also passed visual reasoning tests, concluding images without relying on language as an intermediate step. GPT-4 works across all languages. It can understand and answer questions in any language, no matter how different. That means that you can ask a question in German and get an answer in Italian. In addition, Microsoft's OpenAI multi-mode robustness makes their models more robust and comprehensive. This is similar to Google's multimodal AI, MUM, designed to provide solutions in English, even if the data exists in another language. While there's yet to be official word on whether GPT-4 will debut, rumor says that it might appear on Azure OpenAI. And while Microsoft seems to be surging ahead with AI integration, Google needs help to keep up. It's having difficulty competing with Microsoft, which is making all the right moves regarding consumer-facing AI. While Google already uses AI in many of its products, like Google Lens and Google Maps, Microsoft's approach is more in your face, attracting all the attention. This latest development only reinforces the perception that Google is flailing and struggling to catch up. The true beauty of the multimodal large language model lies in its remarkable ability to learn in context. By combining language and visual data, the multimodal large language model can tackle complex tasks such as automated labeling of images, optical text recognition, speech recognition, and generating answers to questions about image content. For example, a picture resembling a duck was input into it. In the question, what is this picture, it responded by saying, looks like a duck. That's not a duck. Then what is it? Looks more like a bunny. Why? It has bunny ears. With its ability to comprehend and analyze language and images simultaneously, the multimodal large language model paves the way for new technological frontiers. Other examples include when a picture of a simple addition problem, 5 plus 4, was input with a question, the result is. The model responds, 9. Another example is when a picture of two tennis players was input with the question, what is the hairstyle of the blonde called? The model responds with the correct answer, ponytail. These are just a couple of examples of the limitless potential of the multimodal large language model. With its ability to seamlessly integrate language and visual data, the possibilities are endless. From solving complex equations to identifying obscure hairstyles, this technology is transforming the way we interact with the world around us. So guys, where are we going with this technology? You've probably seen those screenshots where Bing claims that it can think and feel. It expresses emotions and even makes threats. A few years ago, this seemed so distant, and now the speed of AI development is explosive. I'm wondering where we'll be in a year, and how much more advanced this technology will become if we have already come this far. 
Microsoft has announced they're restricting how long users can access Bing, which, by the way, identifies as Sydney. They said that too much conversation can confuse the bot and make it start speaking in a way that wasn't intended. It's like they're trying to keep Sydney from going rogue. There's a lot of opinions on GPT-4, and many predicting that it will be 500 times more competent than its predecessor, GPT-3. And GPT-3 has already made waves in education, business, and almost every industry you can imagine. Students are using GPT-3 to crank out essays, term papers, and even thesis papers with ease. Professors are using it to edit their work and even help with book chapter composition. And businesses are finding all kinds of uses for GPT-3 from customer service chatbots to data analysis. GPT-4 promises to be even better. Can you imagine the advancements we'll see once it's completed? There's a lot of hype around the release date. Andreas Braun said that the GPT-4 is coming within a week of March 9th, but honestly, I'm skeptical about it. I hope we'll see it soon, but as of the recording of this video, OpenAI has not officially announced the release of GPT-4. A spokesperson for OpenAI has confirmed in a statement to Futurism that OpenAI has not announced any timing for GPT-4. But what really left me wondering is why would a Microsoft Germany executive be the one to make such an announcement? And in the end, is this even Microsoft's news to share? With all the news, it looks like Google is finally losing its edge. For years, Google has been the undisputed leader in the AI space. Still. Recent advancements by Microsoft and both the GPT chatbot and the upgraded Microsoft Edge have made it a serious competitor. With new features and tools constantly being rolled out, it's becoming increasingly likely that Microsoft, together with OpenAI, will eventually overtake Google as the leading AI company. Sure, Google still has the edge in some areas, but they must step up their game soon to avoid falling behind for good. One area where Google is holding its own is its Nora algorithms, which are nearly as robust as Microsoft's. In addition, Nora can provide the same level of perspective on a query as ChatGPT's algorithm and is now integrated into search. But even with this vital point, it seems Google needs help keeping up with the competition. If Google can make serious strides in the AI race, it will retain its coveted spot at the top. And with Microsoft continuing to push ahead, it may only be a matter of time before Google is left in the dust. It's a tough pill to swallow, but if Microsoft keeps up this pace, all Google can hope to do is play catch up. Do you think Microsoft has overtaken Google in the AI race? Tell us what you think. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more AI content like this.